Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews on How To, and today I'm going to show you how to perform a full factory reset on your Tender MW3. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do a full factory reset on your Tender MW3 mesh system. Now, this is going to be useful for those of you that have maybe got this system, maybe bought it second hand, or maybe you're considering selling on, or maybe you just got to the point where it will no longer register in the app, or you're having severe problems with the network, change your network name, all those kinds of things. Basically, this will enable you to make a fresh start with your Tender MW3 boxes. So things you're gonna need for this. Now, ideally, you're gonna need something to press the reset button on the back of the devices. Now, you can use something like a traditional SIM tool, or alternatively, you can use your mic's unboxing pen. Both will work absolutely fine. Also, to make life a little bit easier for yourself, you can get yourself a power strip, such as this one. This is one of the Miros Power Surge strips. Essentially, what you want to do is get all three devices, or two if you've got the two-pack, or more if you've got them, try and get them all plugged in together in the same area. You don't have to do this, but it certainly does make the process a little bit easier. And also, if there's issues with maybe one of the units not communicating with the other one because of distances, etc., it is far, far simpler to have them all in one place. Also, you can keep an eye on the LEDs to make sure that they are actually doing the factory reset process. So with all that said, let's get on with it. Okay, so we've got all of our Tender MW3 boxes connected up, all powered up nicely, and at the moment you can see they've all got the green light, which will probably go to a red flashing light shortly because they're not connected to any network and they're not actually connected to a distribution center or a modem. At this point, it's a really good idea if you can remember which one of these boxes is the primary node, that is the one that you set up first of all in the app, Try and make a note of it, identify it in some way. What you can do is just put a little piece of tape on the back just so you can identify it from the other units. The primary unit, the primary node, is the one that will perform the factory reset. All three of the boxes have their own reset switch which is located on the back. So you've got your two network ports and there is a tiny little hole which is your reset switch. So with your pokey tool or your mic's unboxing and pen, all you need to do is to press and hold the button on the back for around about six seconds. On the individual boxes, this will just do a reset, not a full factory reset. So if you're having problems with just one of the boxes and your primary node is absolutely fine, you can just use this to press the reset button and it will go through and it will reconnect to the rest of the system. But if you want to reset all of the boxes all together, maybe again, because you're changing your Wi-Fi name or you're selling them on, etc., etc., you do have to do it with the primary node. So with the primary node, all you need to do is to press and hold the reset button for around about six seconds. When you do that, you'll notice that the LED, which you can actually see visibly from the back through the mounting holes, will actually change color and it will start flashing rapidly. Depending on what color it's on already, obviously it may not change color, but it will start flashing rapidly in green. So let's go ahead and do that now. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we can see now, possibly can pick that up, that the LED on the front is now flashing rapidly. So what this is doing now is resetting the primary node. And also because these are all pre-programmed from the factory to all be on the same kind of channel or ID, this box will then communicate with the other boxes in sequence and reset them all. You should find after a while that the lights will either change color, they'll either go amber or red. Just let it set, do its own thing, wait until all three boxes have a solid red light. So we'll leave those to carry on and do that until they're ready. If the process seems to be taking quite a long time, which is in our particular case, there is another way you can see if they've actually factory reset. And that is to open up your mobile phone, Android or iOS, go into your Wi-Fi settings and look to see if you can see a SSID or Wi-Fi address, which is the same as the one which is printed on the base of the unit. If the SSID matches to one of the devices actually shown in your list of available devices, then it has been factory reset and has gone back to its default settings. Now the process is completely finished. All three units are on the red light or slightly amber light. So this is now ready to be reprogrammed. So you can go back into the Tender app and you can configure it to whatever you need it to be. Or if you're planning on selling them or giving them to somebody else, you can put them in the box and they're ready to go. So there we go, there is a nice and easy way of resetting your Tender MW3 Wi-Fi mesh units. I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.